Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Divine Alignment. I am very, very excited for this episode. And I'm also loving recording here on YouTube. So if you are joining from YouTube, go ahead and give this video a like, a thumbs up. And if you're on the podcast, welcome back. I just am so grateful for this beautiful, this beautiful community. And especially as things have completely changed and shifted in my life uh, with my Instagram, if you didn't catch my uh, previous episode, it's a lot going on here, guys. So I'm going to put a link below if you, <laughs> if you haven't um, heard about all the happenings and you feel called to, to hear about it, um, that will be in the show notes and in the link below. It's just like my whole world has gotten turned upside down. And wow, honestly, you guys, I'm seeing what a blessing it is now. I'm really seeing what a blessing it is now. And I'm feeling really grateful for it, which sounds really crazy because if you would have told me a few weeks ago, I would be grateful that I'm not able to post. I have to start over all of these things. I would have thought you were crazy. Um, but you know what? There's a lot of beauty in rebirth and starting over. And I want to talk about some of that today. We're going to be talking about the future of frequency, the future being frequency. The future is frequency. And I have felt so called to share about this topic uh, because I am seeing this show up with my friends my clients and myself. And there's a lot shifting. There's a lot shifting and being aware is going to help us. And that's, that's my goal is that this information serves you and validates. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. What you're feeling right now is so valid. Um, especially in regards to your body, to your health, to your well-being. And this really started showing up for me of like these really weird symptoms. There's a lot of weird symptoms going on right now. A lot of weird symptoms, hair loss, um, really, really extreme fatigue, hormonal things, uh, weight gain, weight loss, like just these, and maybe even health issues you've never had, or maybe health issues you had in the past are like resurfacing. And that's why I wanted to record this, this episode, because I want to let you know, you're not crazy. And there's just a lot of rearranging going on in, in the energetic realm. And actually it's going to sound crazy. Get excited. If you are experiencing these shifts, get excited because this is literally the universe selecting you and saying, you are ready. You are ready. You are ready for all your desires, all that's to come. And in order to prepare you for this, we got to clear out <laughs> everything that's not serving, right? So um, in today's episode, I'm going to, um, I'm going to share this morning. I just like, I knew that I needed to record this today um, because it came through a few days ago. And then this morning it was like, go time. Like you, like this is needed now. And so as I just tuned in and I asked, um, what, what else I needed to know for this, for this podcast? Um, I received three pages, <laughs> three pages of, of messages. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Um, cause I think this is really helpful. And what I want to just begin with though, before we get into the channeled message is what you used to do in the past either already isn't or it's not going to work moving forward. So if you, in the past, whenever you got bloated, you took a certain supplement, you did a certain diet, whatever it was, you ate a certain way, you ate certain foods, that might not be working now, okay? Okay. And I know this can be really frustrating. This can be really frustrating when it's happening. And again, I'm talking about this because this has been happening to me and I see it happening with my friends and clients. And I, 
I want you to be aware you're not crazy. And so you might be doing the physical things that you know you've done in the past to alleviate this. And the fact that it's not working, I want to remind you, celebrate that. Celebrate that because that means that you are moving to the next level. And I know for me, this was really hard because I was like, what the hell is going on? Like my body is not working. It's not functioning the way it used to. Like I literally felt like I was falling apart. Like I was falling apart. Like my system just like shut down. And there's actually a number of things going on here, which I guess now that it's coming up, I should probably bring it up. Um, and this is not to scare anyone, but I do think that this actually plays a role. Um, and I just want people to be aware. I want people to be aware. Um, and I, I do, I tread lightly when I say this because I am not, I'm not wanting to put fear on you. I'm not wanting to make you have another thing to worry about, but I do, I think awareness is really important. Um, and I wasn't going to start with this, but here we are <laughs> and it's coming through. So, um, for me, I noticed in January, I, my body just like shut down, like stopped working, like functioning wise, mainly when I see things energetically in my body is typically my digestion. That's where I just hold a lot of my, my energy and emotions. Uh, some people feel it in their heart. Some people, like if you have, um, a weak spot in your body, sometimes it's the throat. I, I do see some things show up for me energetically in my throat. Um, but it's kind of just like your weak spot. We all have weak, like weak spots, um, which again, it can shift and change and don't hold on to it too tightly. Um, so I noticed like my body just was like, it was not functioning optimally. And I was so fatigued and I was like, kind of thinking I'm crazy. I'm like pulling out all of the tools and tricks in the book. Like I used to take this supplement. I used to do this energy thing and none of them were working. Then I found out that it correlated so directly to when 5G was turned on. So again, I share this with you, not for you to worry, but just so you can be aware. Um, this is a, we are, we are energetic beings and until we transcend EMFs and this 3d body, um, I think it's important to just be aware and protect ourselves from these things. And how funny it was like, so, so cloudy and rainy. And now the sun just came out. Um, so if you're watching, I'm just sitting here basking in the in the glowing light now. <laughs> um, so anyways, I, I noticed that I had to really, I had to not move into fear, not move into like victim, whatever, like just, just begin to detox. And my detoxing is looking very different than I thought that it would. It's looking very different than I thought that it would, because I'm not Googling I did. Oh no, I take it back. I did Google. I did Google some, how do we detox EMFs? But I really came to a dead end because I found that what used to serve me, what used to serve us, it's, it's not, it's not serving me anymore. And so I had to dive into frequencies to the energetics. How do I attune my body to a higher frequency? And this is what I'm really excited to share about with you guys, because ever since I opened up that there's more than I can do than just the work with the physical. And I'm not saying we, you know, throw out all the physical things. I'm not saying that, but once I really energetically opened myself up to there has to be an energetic way to deal with this. All of a sudden, new tools, healers, 
uh, I, I don't even know like what to refer to them as devices, but they're not, they're not devices. They're energetic, they're energetic devices. These things just stop, start dropping into my reality because I surrender to the fact that, oh, it's not just going to be a physical thing again, right? Like it's not just going to be doing a supplement for a cleanse. Oh, that's a big one. You guys, that's a really big one for me. Um, I've been looking back through my, I get, um, what are they called? Like the notifications of like, you know, like your year ago, two years ago, three years ago on my phone. And, um, you know, that's another thing that I've been just dealing with right now is just seasonal affective disorder. I am very, I am very aware now that I am a sun child. I am a sun child. Okay. Um, so being it now, end of February in Portland, I have some pretty intense seasonal affective disorder going on. And, um, why did I bring that up? (laughs) Um, Oh, just, I think just adding to, it'll come, it'll come to me, but just adding to like, just not feeling myself. Oh, so I looked back at my, I was looking back at my Google photos of like my memories of like a year ago. And last year I was really struggling as well, probably because of my season, like the sad. And I was doing so many juice cleanses, medical medium. The medical medium one was really funny because I went to a shaman and he told me he told me do medical mediums, liver cleanse. And I felt every part in my body say, no, it was like, "Mm, that doesn't resonate. But at that time I was like, no, he told me I'm going to do it. And I think that's my human design, my three, five, like I have to, I have to do things. I have to see, (laughs) um, in order to, I have to experiment. I have to, I have to, people can't just tell me, don't do it. I have to do it for myself. So I did. And um, I was miserable the entire time. The entire time. I was making a cucumber tomato gazpacho as it was snowing. Like we got the one, like it snows like once or twice a year in Portland. And of course it's snowing as I'm doing this liver cleanse. If you've done this cleanse, it's, it's all raw. It's all raw. And, um, I was so cold. I was so cold. My body was just like my poor body. It was like, yeah, maybe it helped a few of my symptoms, but I was just miserable, like absolutely miserable. And it was, but again, what a lesson in just like our bodies know. So there's always learning. There's always learning. And I learned so much about myself and all of that through that journey. But like, I look back and I'm like, wow, like a year ago, like that's what I used to do is I would just result to doing a juice cleanse or taking supplements. And again, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing these, but is that really, really going to anchor in the new frequency that you are looking? Is that going to anchor in the a true healing that you're looking for. Because here's the thing, I I would do these cleanses and right after I was done, everything would come back because it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily getting to me where, getting me where I wanted to go. It was just kind of like this, like a blanket approach. Like sure, it helped take some of the weight off of my body and probably help with the seasonal affective disorder, you know, all of these things, but like, it wasn't really, wasn't really helping me. And so now one year later, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, especially like, oh my gosh, so much has shifted in a year collectively, personally. And it's so cool now because I'm seeing myself like spirit, the universe, God is leading me to these new tools, uh, light therapy. I, I just ordered, like, this is the craziest thing you guys, I haven't listened to, and I don't, I'm not going to get too into it because I want to give it, I want to try it first before I share it with you guys. Um, but literally I hadn't listened to this guy's podcast in like forever. 
um, forever, like ages. I kind of got out of like the biohacking, like I was really into like biohacking dudes podcast for a while. <laughs> I think when I was like really into the physical. Um, so I was, you know, like Dave Asprey and Ben Greenfield and Luke Story. And while I still like, I love them. I think they're like great. Like those three are like, I think they have so much wisdom. And what's really cool now is they do share all three of them share about spirituality now and these other cool things, which I think is so cool. Um, but I was led to listen. I'll just say it was one of their podcasts. I was, I was led to listen to one of their podcasts. Like it was one of those, like spirit just like told me, like, as I clicked on my podcast app and that's another thing I've been so selective about my podcast recently, like what I'm consuming, who I'm consuming, all of it. And they were like, go to this one, scroll down this podcast. I listened to it. Next thing you know, I am ordering the device that they're talking about. And I was like, this is why I was led to this because it is a frequency device. And that's what we're being led to. That's what we're being led to. And in my own channeling, I've been receiving money, health. These things are shifting to frequency and energy. And we can either resist it or we can go with it as of, as with anything in life. And then the more we resist it, um, it's like, that's when we just have to keep learning the lessons over and over again. Right. It's like, that's when, that's when the health problems just keep coming back over and over again and just in a different form because we haven't learned the lesson, or that's when we keep attracting the same type of person because we haven't learned the lesson. Um, and so I'm like, I'm fine. And I'm fine here's the thing. I'm not talking from a pedestal or anything like that. You guys like, I get it. Um, I get it. And that's why I'm sharing because I don't want you guys to have to make all of the same mistakes that I have. And as we shift into working with energy and frequency, what does that mean? Well, that means that we are brought these different tools and it's so beautiful because I'm seeing this in in, in other people's lives too. Like my sweet mom, my sweet mom has discovered this, this spray, this spray. And I'm going to put a link, um, I think to all of these things as, as we try them out and what our results are with them. And if you're really, really interested or fascinated, just like send me a message. Um, she has, started taking this spray and it's supposed, but here's the thing. I think that she got introduced to that because it's supposed to exactly help what she needs help with, which is inflammation, arthritis, um, and some of, some of these other things. And so here's the thing. If we set the intention, that's something I really want to say, oh gosh, I should have like prefaced with this, our intention. Our intention is beneath the frequency. It's our intention. So if you set the intention to find exactly what you need to heal you, be open to what the universe delivers you. Be open to what God's spirit sends your way. And that's what I, like, I am like truly being like blown away right now at like the amount of new tools. It's just things that are coming into my field of like, whoa, like, this can heal us. Like it can be this easy. Like these things feel like magic. It's literally, it feels like magic. And that's, that's what they talked about in, in the channel message, uh, that I'm going to read to you guys is that it's literally going to be like magic. It's going to feel like magic when we start working with these higher octaves and frequencies and tones. And, and I say that like, it's going to be about sound healing. It's going to be about light healing. It's going to be about energy healing. It's going to be about using quantum technologies. And so it's kind of like the old way of doing things, like just taking a supplement or, and like, and I don't want to shame supplements because I think there's some really high vibrational supplements out there. Um, and I think there's a lot of really low vibrational supplements out there. Um, actually I would say the majority are, but we're going beyond just working with the physical. Okay. 
So if you are experiencing things in your body right now, just know it's for a reason and maybe even celebrate it. Celebrate it because it means that spirits like, yeah, they're ready. Like let's clear out the clutter so they are an open vessel for their desires and so that we can attune their body to a higher frequency because that's what's, that's what's going to be happening is, oh, I got full body chills just talking about this, just bringing that through because it's like, as you clear out these lower frequencies, spirit can download in new frequencies into you. And, and I think that that's like why a lot of people stay stuck. It's just because it's like their old beliefs and garbage and like what they think to be true about who they are and what's possible. Anything is possible. Absolutely anything is possible for you, your body, your health, your wealth, your life, your relationships, anything, okay? Absolutely anything. And I mean, even just my mom and I were talking the other day and like her new thing. And she said, she said to me, I was just talking with the woman who created this, this it's a spray. I was just talking with the woman who created this spray and she said that it even healed her cartilage. Like she was bone on bone and it healed her cartilage. Like it grew cartilage. So she wasn't in pain anymore and she can walk again. She was using a, I don't remember, like a walker or a wheelchair, something like that. She can walk again now. She's 70. Okay. And I remember telling my mom years ago, I'd get so mad at her because I knew, I knew deep within me, I was like, no. Do not tell me you have bone on bone. Do not tell me there's nothing you can do. Do not tell me that it's like that forever. Anything is possible. And I have always, I've always known this. And I think that this is really like our childlike nature of like, as children, we know, we know anything is possible as children. We just know, like magic is real as children. Like we play with pretend friends, <laughs> like, everything's possible but then we we grow up and we become adults right and it's like no be realistic no i'm like this is literally your invitation to throw that out to throw that out because what's reality reality is what you choose it to be reality is what you choose it to be okay you don't need to live through the lens or expectations or dogmas or beliefs that anyone has given to you. And if you are, you are welcome to throw them out because your reality will mirror what you believe to be true. Do you believe it to be true that you can make a certain amount of money? Do you believe it to be true that you can receive money for doing nothing? Do you believe it to be true that you could just heal just like that? Do you believe it to be true you don't have to peel back layers. You just peel back one layer and be done and be healthy. Do you believe that? Right. And so this is, this is, this is where we have to disentangle the beliefs that we've taken on from others and, and choose what we want to keep. Like, I would even invite you to make a list. Like, what are some of the beliefs I took on that just don't feel good in my body anymore? And you're going to find these through looking at your reality. How much money are you making? How are you feeling in your body? What do your relationships look like? Look at these things and then begin to make a list of the beliefs. Well, what belief led me to receiving that much money? What belief led me to feeling this way in my body? What belief led me to attracting in this type of partner? Right? And when we can really get in touch with that, then we can rewrite those stories and then you can create those new empowering stories. What do you want to feel? How do you want to feel? What do you want your reality to look like? Right? And it can happen just like that. That's what we're moving to. And, and for me, that's been the biggest, that's been the biggest block for me personally of like, I think it has to take a long time. I think it has to take so long and like peel back these layers. And what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't? What if that was just a story I took on? Like, 
I'm feeling this in my body, like full body chills as I'm saying this, because it's like, no, it doesn't matter who gave it to me, who told me that belief. This isn't about blaming or shaming them or saying they're wrong. It doesn't mean that they came from ill intentions or anything. That's just what they were taught, right? It's okay. But as you give yourself permission to live at a higher caliber, higher octave, to heal like that, to be so healthy, to be so abundant, to have amazing relationships, to be so loved, to love your life, when you allow that for yourself, you're allowing that for others around you. You're giving others permission. You're sending out that signal and that frequency into the world that it's safe to be healthy, wealthy, beautiful, abundant, joyous, loved, adored. You send out that frequency. And when you send out that frequency, you let others know, oh, they can have it, so can I. So there's no guilt here. There's no like, do I deserve this? No, <laughs> like that is part of the frequency too. Like leave behind that like, am I worthy and deserving? Like, no, that is, we're done with that one. <laughs> we're done with that one. <laughs> You are so worthy and deserving of all you desire, period, the end, okay? So I think that with that, it is a perfect segue into the channel message that I received. So I'm just going to read this and um, I've shared on some channel messages on this podcast before um, with any channel message. I just invite you to just be in full receiving mode, be in full receiving mode of all of the juicy codes, frequencies. And this is part of frequency. Ooh, I just like, man, I've been thinking like devices and things like that, like channeled information that is frequency work. Ooh, that's so cool too. Like you can literally heal your body just by listening to channeled information, by channeling your own information, right? So with any channeled information, always take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And I just invite you to, um, yeah, if you feel called, close your eyes. If not, like there's no right or wrong way to do it. And you may want to listen back over again um, as oftentimes. I feel like we always hear what we're ready for. And so you may be ready to hear one thing and not be ready to hear another. So as you listen a second or a third time or whatever, um, you're going to hear new things, which how beautiful, right? Um, I actually haven't even read this back. I just received it this morning and this will be fun for both of us to hear. So here we go. You are stepping out of a time of using logic and into a time where the deep truth and realization that you are all energy. This is a saying thrown around throughout millennia, but do you truly get it? Do you truly understand? For if this mainstream saying were truly understood, your reality would look much different. However, you can construct your reality with this knowing. We are so excited, so elated to share about the future of frequency. For this is what you all have been waiting for. You have been waiting and you have been in this time in between as of recently where things have felt dense, where the density has felt extra dense as it has, as it is rising up to the surface to A, be acknowledged and B, be shed. You are shedding, shedding old parts of the body, old parts of the lives you've created rooted in 3D And to ascend to 5D, to understand, or to ascend to 5D is to understand, to know and trust that all of the 3D, 4D 
will serve you and has served you. For it's in this embracing of it all, you're not getting out of it, getting away from it. It's claiming that every part of this path has served. And there's wisdom within it all. You are awakening new centers in your body with this transition. New centers, new instincts, new senses, all coming online. So don't be surprised when the old things you used to do don't work anymore. For your health, your relationships, your finances, it's simply not an energetic match. Like trying to fit a square into a circle. Your body is shifting now. And it's asking shifting of you. It's asking for receptivity. New gadgets, tools, and technology are coming online. These are so exciting for us and for you. However, like anything, we remind you to always use discernment. Everything you once knew is and will be changing. So to hold on to the old is going to get more and more and increasingly more painful. Love it and lovingly let it go. For tapping into frequencies is how you can access your new desires. How does this look? Like energetic rewiring, firing, and reconstructing. Through optimization of molecules, particles, and quantum entanglement streaming down in ways you'd never imagine. <laughs> Things can get as weird and magical as you are open and willing to see them. If you open yourself to these new realms, do not be surprised when the things you've been doing and that have been working for years are simply healed in an instant. When the currency of money suddenly shifts to energetics, this is how things are shifting and transitioning. And we remind you, there's nothing to fear. And rather to embrace these new systems, these new technologies, and these new bodies, these new bodies you are birthing quite literally are being reborn. And you will not always feel good in the process. Trust that this is all happening for your greatest good. And in doing so, you allow the process to continue. To doubt, deny, blame, shame, question, or send any negativity towards will only delay or halt your transition. Let it be easy. And ask. Ask for the support that's all around you. Ask for things to slow up, slow down, or speed up. Ask that the intensity increase or decrease. Ask that you be shown. This is the future. Your telepathic gifts to us being normalized. For they are not even gifts. They are the energy centers within you that you were born with, and they simply got shut off. They're turning back on. And in their turning back on, you remember who you truly are. A child of the universe, of this benevolent universe that is here to guide you, love you, and show you all that you came here to be. <sighs> Woo. So I just invite you, just breathe that in. Breathe in. That frequency, that transmission, it's all here for you. 
As I said, I'd remind her, I'd call you to listen back if you feel called. Drink some water, put a pinch of sea salt in it so you absorb it. Rest if you feel called to rest. Move if you feel called to move. Just do what feels good. There's so much in there. So much I want to, so much I feel like I could unpack, but I kind of just want to leave you with that. Leave you in this yummy energy because there's a lot to get excited about. There's a lot to get excited about. And you chose this time. Your soul chose this time. These lessons, everything that you're going through. It's serving such a divine purpose. And so with that, my loves, I would love to hear what came up for you, what showed up for you, any realizations or things that have been happening for you. Leave a comment below. Reach out to me on Instagram. Both my Instagrams, you can send messages, but uh, feel free to join me at the new one. Life as Jasmine Elise. And until next time, I am sending you all infinite love and light.